I always was dreaming about blue lagoons filled with fish, coconut trees and uh, sailors in boats trading on the island. Avi Kiriati has always been a dreamer. It was a good dream. I just wanted to get to that dream. 20 years ago, Kiriati followed his heart to the Pacific, where he found home and his true calling, preserving Polynesian culture through his art. It has become Kiriati's obsession, spawning a remarkable volume of oil paintings, ceramics, block prints, and even lava sculptures. It's like a big something that is glowing inside there, you know, and it's always when I think about it, it gives me a good feeling. So, you know, it's something that I stuck to with my art. I've done South Pacific art for the last, I don't know how many years. Today, Kiriati is celebrated as the most prolific artist of the South Pacific. His works are often compared to Paul Gauguin, the French Impressionist, who drew his own inspiration from primitive Tahitian culture. I always loved his work to begin with, and I felt a connection, you know, to the whole Polynesian things. And especially when I was back in the old world, you know, all I had is like pictures and you know, art books to get inspired from, and Gauguin was actually one of those that kind of triggered that South Pacific experience. I kind of used the inspiration, took off where he ended, and moved on with it. Even before Gauguin, there was Avi's father, an artist who nurtured his young son's passion during his childhood in Israel. Dad was an artist, and um, I remember sitting on the floor sketching. I remember like, I guess like from seven, it was like the book celebration in our first class. And we made a big show for the parents and I was the painter. I guess every child uh, is influenced by his parent, you know. Whatever is your universe around you will, uh, later on in your life will come out. Kiriati's universe is definitely expanding. And he's about to make history in the South Pacific. Avi Kiriati from Maui, Hawaii is an answer to prayer. I think we can say God has performed another miracle. interested in the abstract thinking of, so to speak, primitive people and then their legends and their mystical uh, understanding of the world through their art. the 
very beginning we had interest in the in the deep South Pacific kind of like you know the most mysterious areas that we thought are. Avi and his wife Suzanne have always followed the road less traveled. In 1994, it led them on a journey deep into the South Pacific. I think those three months that I was immersed in the Polynesian environment, you know, eating the Polynesian food and just being there, it had a result, you know, it had an impact on me. When you have a, like 250 butterflies in your belly, <laughs> that's how you feel. You know, it's kind of like very exciting. Avi fell in love and sort of adopted Polynesia as his second home. The Marcation Group is right here on the corner of the French Polynesia block. And then you have the Leeward Islands in the back of Tahiti, like uh, Maupiti, Rayatea, Bora Bora, Huahini. Now, the mystical islands are calling Avi back, but this time, he's being summoned. I knew that he was the one to do this work. A missionary in the Marquesas Islands needs help. The church was abandoned, and I stumbled upon it, and when I saw it, I began to pray about it. I was looking for an artist who could paint Jesus in Polynesian character, and I found him through the Hawaiian Airlines magazine. It was an answer to prayer. And she opened the magazine and there was Avi. When she even called and connected, she was amazed that we had actually been to this village before, that he had interest in it. A chance encounter suddenly looks like fate and Eleanor LeClaire isn't the only believer. It was like perfect. Avi is being commissioned to paint a restored church a mural of Jesus in the islands where the legends of his hero are buried. Definitely do it if we could. Yeah. We just said that we would just keep opening the doors and heading that way. He'll have just 15 days to complete the painting, and the journey over won't be any easier. You have to go from Maui to Honolulu, and then it takes five hours to Papeete. You've got to stay the evening and then three hours to Nukuhipa in the Marquesas. You land at the airport and you either have to take a car that's anywhere from one to two hour drive long. It depends on how the weather is and the road is because sometimes the road gets washed out. It's a wild place. And once I got here, I realized, you know, that really this thing is bigger than what it was. It's a really large painting. Avi and Suzanne have arrived in the Marquesas Islands. Three days remain before the mural must be completed. I'm not trying to rush myself into it. So, you know, the more time I'll have here, I could work more, you know, put some real detail in there. But even so, I'm trying to do some some nice stuff. It's a balance between texture, uh, detail, large areas. Some of the textures, if you notice here, it's from the original uh, charcoal um, drawing that I went over it with the finger and lightly and smeared the, the texture that was already there. And you know, I had to preserve it. I some areas I've letting it show through for some of the very initial uh, stages, you know, I've just kept them as flat as I could with very thin glazes. If you notice, there is no people in the subject. It's only like 
Jesus and the animals and nature. You know, so the subject of the painting is really the nature, you know, keeping this place like the Garden of Eden, which it is. We, we must make, make sure that we keep it just the way it is. It is exactly what I wanted. I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. Eleanor is pleased with Avi's progress, but some local visitors aren't so sure. They're not ready for it because mostly they are used to carvings. They're not used to paintings. The Marquesans have never seen a mural before. Avi's will be the first. I felt that, you know, if I'll do the best I can and just paint a painting that will remind them of the environment that it's so precious around here. As you may recall, after the dedication of the chapel last year, I said I would return with an artist who would paint a mural of Jesus in Polynesian character inside the chapel. Avi Kiriati from Maui, Hawaii is an answer to prayer. Avi, will you come and sign and date the mural for us? I'd love to do it for you. <laughs> I want to say also thank you to the Marquesian people, you know, for having us around here. I hope that you guys like the mural. Okay, sign it. Voila! The mural is embraced by the Marquesan people. Now, Ave can begin the next phase of his journey. I like to sketch and just immerse myself in the culture and the people, the countryside. I'm inspired by the, the people of the islands and the islands themselves. 